Okay, so here we are with Rod doing stuff. Me and Spencer are going to go do some survival camping in the Razor. So we're going to go out camping for one night and stay in a tent and have some fun. Um, we went to the parking lot where we were going to park. It was clear full. So we had to drive about 10 miles further up the road to find a place to park. So it's going to be a little longer ride than what we anticipated. But it's going to be fun. We'll keep up with you and let you know how things go. Okay guys, so I'm going to drive through here and drive through the parking lot and show you the madness that's up here where we were going to park. We had to park about 10 miles away because it's just crazy up here, crazy busy. crazy that parking lot was down there. It was even a bigger mess. That sheriff was sitting there writing people tickets that had parked out on the dirt. So it's pretty crazy up here. There's a lot of people. Hopefully by Monday there won't be so many people because we'll be done with the weekend. We're going to head up the road here, hopefully get away from some people up this dirt road and uh, go find a place to camp. Yeah, so this is crazy. This is Silver Lake, Silver Lake Flat Reservoir. There's so many people up here. It's just nuts. Of course, you'll be able to see that on the video. The parking lots are jammed. People are parked in no parking spaces. People are everywhere. It's crazy. It says you can't camp within a half a mile of the lake or light a fire. So I guess we're going to carry on up the road a ways and find somewhere to camp. Well, we found our camping spot. We're going to stay here for the night and see if we can live. All right, see if we can survive the night. Got a nice flat spot over here to put our tent. Got a fire pit over here. So we're going to get camp set up and then we'll get back to you. Well, here we are. We made it to our campsite. Got our tent set up. Gathered a little bit of firewood. Now we're just kind of relaxing. Here in a bit we're going to go down and do some fishing. We've got yeah. Spencer here. He's been helping me get firewood. Mm -hmm. Haven't you Spencer? Yep. You got to talk to the camera. Talk loud. Yes. Yep. And what are we going to do later? Uh, um, make a fire. And what else? And after that just go to bed. Go to bed? Yeah. Going to eat some dinner? Yep. Alright, so we got to get a little more wood. Then as it gets a little later, we'll go down and do some fish and see if we can catch some fish. So we're going to go collect some wood and we'll see you when we go. Okay, so we went out in the razor and found a bunch of wood. Because there isn't much around here. So we're going to unload that. Here you go, buddy. Take that over and put it in the pile.
fishing. We're gonna tell you, if, and we're gonna tell you if we get a fish or not. So. This is Spencer fishing. We have not caught a fish yet, but we are attempting to. What do you think, Spencer? Yeah, he's having fun. He says it's fun. Didn't get anything? All right, I'll come throw it out for you again and you can reel it in. Okay, so here we are back at camp after our fishing adventure. We didn't catch any fish. We were down there for about an hour. Nobody around us caught any fish. There was probably seven or eight other people fishing, so no fish caught. So we gave up and decided to come back and eat our elk steak. But Spencer is going to tell us why we weren't catching any fish. Well, you got to talk loud. Well, I think because they're all asleep. Yeah, so that's why. Because the fish are asleep and they're not going to bite the hook if they're asleep. Right, Spencer? Yep. Bingo. Okay. So that's why we didn't catch anything. We're going to get a fire going and we're going to get some food cooked because we're both hungry. Okay, we're going to see if Spencer, we've had him practice and we're going to see if he can get a fire on these cotton balls here. Almost. Keep going. Go we'll get it. There you oh. go. Yeah. And now we get the little sticks on there. Good job, buddy. That was his there's, first time ever doing that. First time ever doing it. Practiced for just a couple minutes before we tried it. He's a man. Get a bunch of our little stuff on there. Let's not cut these. Where should I put these? You can just set it on the chair there, bud. What should I do now? You can break up some of those sticks. Okay, that's enough? Yeah, for just a second. I think we should put it on. I thought it would burn me and when I made it. I thought when I made it, it would burn me. You thought me. it would burn you? Yeah. Didn't though, did it? You've done a good job. That was your first time. When, when I was about to burn myself, but no. Let's keep this fire going. That's right. So we can cook some now dinner, I know huh? how to make a fire. Right. See, now you know to survive it with a fire, huh? This has <coughs> some rocks on it. Let's get some wood and steel um, ball. Yep, and your ferro rod, huh? Get it to get a fire and get some wood on it. Alright, so Spencer got our fire going. We're going to let this burn and get down to some coals. And then we're going to cook us some oak steak.
So along with our elk steak, we're gonna have some potatoes. We're gonna throw a couple strips of bacon in there. Like so. Got us a nice cutting board here, this nice piece of wood. Throw some bacon in here, some potatoes, then we're just gonna, and some onion. And then I'm just gonna toss this in the coals when they get there and let it cook. Got a couple potatoes here. Oh, lost one. Well, it'll be alright. You like potatoes? Yes. Say yes. Thank you. Potatoes are the best. They are. The best part about this cutting board is when you're done, you just throw it away. Put it in the fire and burn it. You don't have to wash it. Onion here. Slice that up. Throw it in with our taters. Take this. Get this all stirred up in here a bit. Spread this bacon goodness. We're out here. I'll show you this I got. It's pretty sweet. This is my new spice kit. So I've got in here some steak seasoning, some sugar, a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, and some seasoning salt. So put a little bit of this seasoning salt in here. bit of pepper. Okay, a lot bit of pepper. And that should do it. I'm just gonna wrap this up. We're gonna put it in the in the fire here in a minute when that goes down to cold. Then we'll get our steak ready to cook. It's fire here in just a few minutes. It's getting down there. We'll get our steak ready. We got our elk steak here. Some survival food, right? Yeah. And we got some Bam Sun. This is a spice rub. I bought this uh, it's from Joe Robinette. He has a YouTube channel. Um, and he does a lot of bushcraft stuff and canoeing and stuff like that. But it has his name on it, so I bought it. And we're gonna see how it is. They look good. You wanna put some spice on it? Yes. Here you go. Come put it on. You can do it. You hold it up high. Yeah, like that. Are they look good? Inside getting all plugged up. We'll have to do it out of this side. Let's go like this. Oh, they look good. Inside. To put some, some All right. Yep. We should be good there, Bent. Yeah. We're gonna let that spice sit on there for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then we'll it. be. Smoke my eyes. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna set our grill over here. Just like so. Get our steaks cooked up. Get those grilled up and uh, then we'll come back and show you how they taste. Don't you think, Vincer? So we just flipped the steaks over. They're looking really good. We're excited. Our stomachs are growling. We haven't eaten anything all day. It's about 8 30 at night. Just I starting ate, to get dark. I ate some noodles before we You ate what? Some noodles. Before we left? Yeah. I'm still yeah. starving. Yeah. You ready for dinner? Yeah. All right. We'll get you fed. Okay. So our dinner's done. Got our potatoes here. Our bacon. Got this elk steak, which is cooked perfectly. And we're just going to eat this and let you know how it tastes. So we're going to put the camera down here so you can watch me and Spencer eat. Tell us how it is. Mm. That's some good meat there, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes better when it's cooked over a fire, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna try one of these one of these potatoes here. Oh yeah. That's some good food. Sticks here. That's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we're going to finish eating. Then we'll get back to you. We're just probably going to eat and sit around the fire tonight and then go to bed. What's your final thoughts on dinner, Spencer? Um, well, it was really good. I liked the meat. It was like really chewy with mine. Yeah. Was it spicy? Add a little bit of spice to that rub, huh? Me really fast. Yeah, didn't have to eat much of it to get full. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was good, huh? I thought it was good. It was just a little bit spicy, but um, put a little less rub on it next time. But it was still really good. Yep. So here we are, We're done with dinner. We're both uh, pretty full. Ate as much as we could. And uh, we're just going to spend the rest of the evening, I think, sitting here around the fire and talking with each other, having a good time. And here in an hour or so, we'll probably go and get in bed. Okay, so we made it through the night here in the old tent. It did uh, rain and thundered and lightninged for a couple hours last night. Wasn't sure if the old uh, tent was going to hold up for a little while there. The wind blew pretty good. But Spence here, he slept right through it. So he got a good night's sleep. What do you think, Spence? How did you sleep? Good. You slept good? What are we going to do this morning? Well, we're going to eat breakfast and back up and head out. Yep, go back to the truck, huh? Yep. And head for home. Okay. So, we'll keep you updated. And mill down there, yep. I got it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Turn this over to this side. Best fire yeah, builder, the first time I've ever done it. Right. 
All right, so we're gonna build this thing up and then we're gonna cook us some breakfast. Cook our bacon on this here. And more bacon. Stove. Because call it a twig last stove. time it did not work out so yeah. well. Some of them so call lovely. it a Luxinda stove, a Wahoo stove, but they're only about 20 bucks. You can pick them up on eBay or Amazon. You just throw some twigs or pine cones or wood pellets or whatever you have in there. We're going to cook us up a few pieces of bacon here. Oh, and, bacon. Uh, Mmm, bacon. I love bacon. Spencer loves bacon, so there we go. Let's go we'll cook this. We don't want to haul it home. Just cook it all. Yeah, Spencer will eat it all, right? Well, if I had to do it here. Yeah, I about eat all anyway, we're going to get this bacon cooked up. Spencer says he wants some oatmeal, so we'll find our oatmeal and cook that up for him. Got our breakfast done. We've got our bacon here. It's looking really good. we got some oatmeal. We cooked up this. I bought this. It's a Patriot Pantry 72-hour kit. Bought it because it was ten dollars on the internet, so we thought we'd try out the oatmeal out of it this morning. Cause Spencer said he didn't want eggs, so we're gonna try out this Maple Grove oatmeal. See how that tastes. You ready, Spence? You gonna taste it? Mm -hmm. Tell him how it is. Another eight yo. Eat this before. Mm. It's good, huh? Yeah. How about some bacon? Let it fall out my mouth. Don't let it fall out. I'm gonna try a piece of bacon. I've already tried some at night, but I'm in what John cooked. This is good bacon. Oh yeah. Good bacon, huh? Can't try it. You haven't tried it? Because I had to swallow it. Oh yeah. Um, good. Yeah, so anyway, food's good. We're going to finish eating, then we're going to start packing stuff up, head down to a little bit of fishing, and uh, head out of here. Okay. So, we're going we're gonna to take down this tent, but get dry first. But then we're going to get the stuff out of there, and... And pack up and we'll go fishing and go to the truck, then pack up in the truck, then go home. All right, so we're gonna get stuff out of the tent now, huh? Uh -huh. All right. Yep, have you had fun? Yeah. All right.
go. Spencer's going to douse the fire. Fire he started, he's going to put out with his wet hat. That I dropped in the river. Right. At least a rock got it to stop, right? Yep. Yeah, it would have been gone, huh? Can you help me get this open? Yep. Yep. They like All right. Let go away. Dump it on that log that's burning. Okay, here it goes. Those rocks are slippery. Yeah. And then be falling in all the way. Right. Dump it all over. Get some over there on that log. Yep. There you go. That fire's not going anywhere. Yeah, but it's still got some water. Yeah. Smoke. Yep, it's steam. It's steam from the water. I think we need another back. No, I think we're good. Okay, that's it. Fire's out. Everything's packed up. Spencer's got a wet hat. Yeah, I dropped and we're out in of the here. lake. We're going to head for... That I dropped in the lake. Where are we going now? Oh, going fishing before we leave. Yeah, we'll go fishing for a little bit, and then we're going to head out, huh? We'll be lucky if we find any, get any. You think the fish are awake today? Yeah. Hopefully, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go. down at Tibble Fork Reservoir this morning. Spencer's doing some fishing. Let's see if he can catch a fish. How's it going, Spence? You, you what? Say it loud. Okay, well we'll keep trying and keep them updated, huh? All right. Well, we didn't catch any fish again. Yeah, we went fishing out here at Tibble Fork. We're here for about an hour. We didn't catch anything. You can see it's still pretty busy around here, but not as busy as it was yesterday by far. Yesterday here was crazy. You couldn't park anywhere. We had to park clear up by Cascade Springs and drive the Razor all the way down the highway. So we're going to head back up that way now and load the Razor up and head for home. Okay, so we've made it back to the truck. So we're going to load up the Razor and head out. So we're going to end this video. 
But what do you think, Spencer? What's your last words on this trip? Uh, well, I, I like this trip. I had fun. You had fun? Mm -hmm. You want to do it again? Yeah. Yeah, he wants to do it again sometimes. So I had a good time as well. Next time, maybe we'll go somewhere there's not quite so many people. There are people everywhere up here. This place is crazy. So next time we're going to try that, but we're going to get loaded up and head for home. So if you like this video, subscribe, like, and give us a thumbs up. You give them a thumbs up? What? Say thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right.